it's, you know, I think it comes down to, it's like trusting that you're interesting enough, you know? And I think one thing that Robert, thank you for this question. It's a real existential actor question is one of my friends, Alex Ashinger, who's a great direct uh, writer, actor, this coach at the studio says, stop controlling what other, you can't control what other people see and think, and you can't do it. And, and you have to do it for yourself. I always tell actors, we find many incredible, brave, fun choices that work. How do you know the, it's the right one? It's the one that's more fun for you, never the one you think somebody else will like. So it really is cutting that cable of trying to impress, trying to guess what somebody wants. Great casting directors, great producers, networks, they want great acting and great people. They don't want to be, you know, someone to try to please them. And so it's trusting that you're interesting enough as yourself, but that's a head concept. Trust that I'm interesting enough. How do I trust that I'm interesting enough when I don't? But could you imagine, which is what we do in the acting work, doing the work that, that we just did with, that Hannah and Jade just did for an acting piece and being so lit up with fun that it's gonna be easier to not do anything because great work is like, it's work you get to live off the interest of. It's emotionally lit up and yet then you leave it alone. You don't wanna bring your preparation or training into the acting. You don't want work that smells like acting technique or where you can see the seam or the line in the acting. So I've written it before in a backstage magazine article. It's like great preparation is like a properly packed parachute that prevents the skydiver from falling to his or her death. Um, though scared for your life, you have to bravely jump out of that plane, pull the rip cord um, and trust that you packed it properly because there's nothing you can do. And in the moment when you start acting, that difference between good and great is you, are you starting emotionally lit up instead of empty? And it makes it so you don't have to do anything anymore. The hook is this thing that we find like Hannah and I, Hannah found it in our work together and Jade found it in our work together. It's the thing that makes it so you don't have to act. So look at the work we just did and imagine being lit up. It'll actually be easier to give yourself permission to not have to act when you're under the influence of those more powerful emotions. Mm -hmm. So I guess I don't want to tell you to trust, you know, I, I want you to feel, but I want you to think about lighting yourself up and then it's going to be easier to not have to do anything because the moment you start acting is the moment where the technique, as Meryl Streep says, is balled up and thrown out the window. The scaffolding gets kicked off. Um, so you think of the work as filled nothing. We fill up. Philip Seymour Hoffman talked about it, one of my favorite actors. You, he, he said, in, in the greatest roles that I did in Magnolia and Love, Liza, I didn't do anything to myself when I got on set. That work was in me and I didn't have to alter anything or change anything. So you are beyond interesting enough and there's a fun exercise I do with the actors at the studio. Um, but thank you for the beautiful question because it could, we could talk about it forever.